So now that I'm wearing a microphone and you can hear me on the internet broadcast, welcome again, especially to people who are new to the broadcast. We'll start by giving the uh, decree to Elohim Cyclopia 5.04. And uh, after that, we'll give the invocation uh, for healing the emotional body. Can you hear me well in the back? Or do I need to move the microphone? Okay. Okay, so let me just see here. Ready? In the name, I am that I am, Jesus Christ. I call to my I will be presence to flow through my being and give these decrees with full power. I call to beloved, mighty Cyclopia and Virginia to pierce the illusions of separation and duality that keep me from attaining wholeness, including. Together, Cyclopea, so dear, the truth you reveal, the truth that duality's ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great balm. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopea, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core, the key to becoming the wide open door. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, clear our inner sight. Empowered, we pierce the soul's fearful night. We now see our life through your single eye. Beyond all disease, we are ready to fly. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. In our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopea, so dear, life can only reflect the images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind from the images the ego is hiding behind. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopea, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. Through veils of duality, we now take flight. Bathe in your penetrating emerald light. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopea, so dear, your emerald flame exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the game of wanting to say the truth is defined in only one way. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. And so, dear, we are feeling the flow as your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth in immaculate matrix will be. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth transcends all systems below. Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopea, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ in lifting earth out of serpentine cage to manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Cyclopea, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopea, so dear, the truth you reveal, 
the truth that dualities, ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great bomb. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Psychopia, Sodia, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, Sodia, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. In you know, all pure awareness is truly our core, the key to becoming the wide open door. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, clear our inner sight, empowered we pierce the soul's fearful night. We now see our life through your single eye, beyond all disease we are ready to fly. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, life can only reflect the images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind from the images the ego is hiding behind. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere. Deep in our hearts your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. To veils of duality, we now take flight. Bathe in your penetrating emerald light. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, your emerald flame. Exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the game of wanting to say the truth is defined in only one way. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling the flow. As your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth in immaculate matrix will be. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth and sense, all system below. Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ. In lifting earth out of serpentine cage. To manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, the truth you reveal. The truth that duality, ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great bomb. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core, the key to becoming the wide open door. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, clear our inner sight. Empowered, we pierce the soul's fearful night. We now see our life through your single eye. Beyond all disease, we are ready to fly. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In raising perception, we shall persevere. In our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, life can only reflect the images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind from the images the ego is hiding behind. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. To veils of duality, we now take flight. Bathe in your penetrating emerald light. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. 
to immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, your emerald flame exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the way of wanting to say the truth is defined in only one way. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, we are feeling the flow. As your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth in immaculate matrix will be. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth transcends all systems below. Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. Hearts with truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ in lifting earth out of serpentine cage to manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, the truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, the truth you reveal. The truth that duality's ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great bomb. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core, the key to becoming the wide open door. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, clear our inner sight. Empowered, we pierce the soul's fearful night. We now see our life through your single eye. Beyond all the seas, we are ready to fly. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, life can only reflect the images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind from the images the ego is hiding behind. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. Through veils of duality, we now take flight. Based in your penetrating emerald light. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, your emerald flame. Exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the game of wanting to say that truth is defined in only one way. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, we are feeling the flow. As your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth in immaculate matrix will be. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth transcends all systems below. Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ in lifting earth out of serpentine cage to manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Cyclopia, so dear, the truth you reveal, the truth that duality's ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great bomb. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Cyclopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Here, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core, 
the key to becoming the wide open door, Sacro Pierre, so dear in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere, as deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere, Sacro Pierre, so dear, clear our inner sight, empowered we pierce the soul's fearful night, we now see our life through your single eye, beyond all the seas we are ready to fly, Sacro Pierre, so dear in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere, as deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, life can only reflect the images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind from the images the ego is hiding behind. Sacro so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere, as deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, we want to aim high, to your healing flame we ever draw nigh. Through veils of duality we now take flight, fading your penetrating emerald light. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception we shall persevere, as deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, your emerald flame exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the game of wanting to say that truth is defined in only one way, Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception we shall persevere, as deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, we are feeling the flow, as your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision we are now set free, planet earth and immaculate matrix will be. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception we shall persevere, as deep in our hearts your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Sacro Pierre, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth and sin, all systems below. Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Sacro Pierre, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ. In lifting earth out of serpentine cage to manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, the truth you reveal, the truth of duality's ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great bomb, our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spiral clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core. The key to becoming the wide open door. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, clear our inner sight. Empowered, we pierce the soul's fearful night. And now see our life through your single eye. Beyond all the seas, we are ready to fly. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, life can only reflect. The images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind. From the images, the ego is hiding behind. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. To veils of duality, we now take flight. Bade in your penetrating emerald light. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, your emerald flame. Exposes every subtle dualistic power game. Including the game of wanting to say that truth is defined in only one way. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, we are feeling the flow, as your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision we are now set free, planet earth and immaculate matrix will be. Sacro Pierre, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Sacro Pierre, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth and sense, all systems below. 
Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Psychopia, Sodia, and Emerald Sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Here, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ. In lifting earth out of serpentine cage. To manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Psychopia, Sodia, and Emerald Sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, the truth you reveal. The truth of duality, ailments will heal. Your emerald tide is like a great palm. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Psychopia, so dear, and emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core. The key to becoming the wide open door. Psychopia, so dear, and emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, clear our inner sight. Empowered, we pierce the soul's fearful night. We now see our life through your single eye. Beyond all the seas, we are ready to fly. Psychopia, so dear, and emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, clear, not can only reflect. The images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind. From the images, the ego is hiding behind. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. To veils of duality, we now take flight. Fade in your penetrating emerald light. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, your emerald flame exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the game of wanting to say that truth is defined in only one way. Psychopia, so dear, an emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling the flow. As your living truth upon us, you bestow. From all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth and immaculate matrix will be. Psychopia, so dear, an emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. You know, truth and sense of systems below. Emerge in your light, we continue to grow. Psychopia, so dear, an emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ. In lifting earth out of serpentine cage. To manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, the truth you reveal. The truth that duality is ailments will heal. Your emerald tide is like a great palm. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. You know, pure awareness is truly our core. The key to becoming the wide open door. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, clear our inner sight. Empowered, we pierce the soul's fearful night. Your life to your single eye. Beyond all the seas, we are ready to fly. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, life can only reflect. The images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind. From the images, the ego is hiding behind. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, we want to aim high. To your healing flame, we ever draw nigh. To wheels of duality, we now take flight. Fade in your penetrating emerald light. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does it here. Psychopia, so dear, your emerald flame. Exposes every subtle dualistic power game, including the game of wanting to say that truth is defined in only one way. Psychopia, so dear, an emerald sphere. 
in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, yours does it here. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling the flow. As your living truth upon us you bestow. From all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth in immaculate matrix will be. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, yours does it here. Psychopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth and sense all systems below. Emerge in your light, we continue to grow. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, yours does it here. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ. In lifting earth out of serpentine cage. To manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, yours does it here. Psychopia, so dear, the truth you reveal. The truth that to allergies, ailments will heal. Your emerald light is like a great farm. Our emotional bodies are perfectly calm. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, with you we unwind. All negative spirals clouding the mind. We know pure awareness is truly our core, the key to becoming the wide open door. Psychopia so dear in emerald sphere, in racing perception we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts your truth we revere, to immaculate vision the earth does adhere. Psychopia so dear, clear our inner sight, empowered we pierce the soul's fearful night. We now see our life through your single eye, beyond all disease we are ready to fly. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, life can only reflect the images that the mind does project. The key to our healing is clearing the mind from the images the ego is hiding behind. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we want to aim high. Healing flame, we ever draw nigh. Through veils of duality, we now take flight. Fade in your penetrating emerald light. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere. In racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, your emerald flame exposes every subtle dualistic power gain, including the game of wanting to say that truth is defined in only one way. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling the flow. As your living truth upon us you bestow, from all dual vision, we are now set free. Planet Earth in immaculate matrix will be. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in racing perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, the truth is now clear. We see higher purpose for which we are here. We know truth transcends all systems below. Immersed in your light, we continue to grow. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. Immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. Psychopia, so dear, we are feeling your joy. As creative vision, we now do employ in lifting earth out of serpentine case to manifest Saint Germain's golden age. Psychopia, so dear, in emerald sphere, in raising perception, we shall persevere. As deep in our hearts, your truth we revere. To immaculate vision, the earth does adhere. In the name of the Divine Mother, I fully accept that the power of these calls is used to set free the matter light so it can now picture the perfect vision of Christ for my own life, for all people, for the planet. In the name I am that I am, it is done. Amen. So, the
invocation for healing the emotional body. So together, in the name of the I am that I am, Jesus Christ, I call to Mother Mary and Archangel Raphael, Elohim, Cyclopeia, and Virginia, Hilarion, and all healing masters and angels to envelop and fill my emotional body with your all-penetrating, all-accelerating healing flame that restores everything to the immaculate wholeness for my life stream, making my emotional body the ideal instrument for the fulfillment of my divine plan in this lifetime and for my ascension. I especially call for Together, Mother Mary, I am aware that I am a co-creator with a cosmic hierarchy above me. I co-create by using the energy I receive from my I am presence and the ascended masters. I need no energy from this world in order to co-create. For Mother Mary, body mind is truly fully holy thine. My body elemental fee as every illness healed by thee. O oh, Mother Mary, you are real, and therefore every wound you heal. In Mother's garden, I feel free from all that used to burden me. Mother Mary, I am aware that when I became blinded by the illusion that says I am a separate being, I did not experience the stream of energy from above. Thus, I thought I needed energy from this world. O oh, Mother Mary, feelings mine are truly fully wholly thine. My feeling body filled with grace, all trauma as it does now erase. O oh, Mother Mary, I let go of all that pulls me from below. Your healing frame is such a grace, all my mistakes it does erase. Mother Mary, I am aware that this set up a reverse energy flow, where my emotional body became an inroad for the energies from the collective consciousness and even from dark forces. O oh, Mother Mary, thinking mind, is truly fully wholly thine, my mental body crystal clear, as Mother's presence is now here. O oh, Mother Mary, so sublime, uplifting me beyond all time, whatever was still in my past, I feel that it has truly passed. Mother Mary, I am aware that this means I now have subconscious cells that take in fear-based energies from this world, and this affects both my feelings my thoughts, and my sense of identity. O oh, Mother Mary, I am free, reborn to new identity. In pure awareness, I am whole, as I let go of worldly soul. O oh, Mother Mary, from beyond, to earth I need no more respond. In Mother's garden, I am free, as in our oneness I will be. Mother Mary, I am willing to have you take me through a systematic process whereby I close and seal my four lower bodies to this reverse energy flow. Mother Mary, I feel free. Surrender is the master key. All selves I simply can let go, as healing grace you do bestow. Oh, Mother Mary, I'm with you. My mind is one, no longer two. Divisions have no hold in me. My aura is all filled with thee. Mother Mary, I want to return to the state of innocence where energy only flows downwards from my I am presence, and there is no energy flowing from this world into my four lower bodies. O oh, Mother Mary, sacred tone, from all past eras does atone. I hear the sound of Mother's bell, me from death and hell. O oh, Mother Mary, I will flow, as I now have the will to grow. In life's own river I transcend, as ego I no more defend. Mother Mary, in order to achieve this, I am willing to look at all subconscious selves that make me see myself as a separate being, make me think my mind has no power over matter, or make me feel like I need something from this world. Well, Mother Mary, in your grace, you set me free from every trace of fallen beings and their lies. Gaze to lofty skies. For well, Mother Mary, all is healed. As Mother's vision is revealed, with single eye I do now see that oneness is reality. Mother Mary, I am willing to see all reactionary patterns that cause me to open my energy field 
to the lower energies in this world. I want to return to the state where energy only flows outward from my presence and no energy flows inwards from the world. For Mother Mary showed to me the selves that keep me far from thee. I now surrender dual lie, and I am free from worldly tie. O Mother Mary, I now see the world is unreality, and in my core I also feel conscious me is truly real. Mother Mary, I'm willing to have you take me through a systematic process, thereby I take command over my sense of identity, my thoughts, and my feelings. So I have dominion over these three bodies and can maintain the natural energy flow from above to below. Oh, Mother Mary, what a sound that emanates from holy ground. My heart in sync with Mother's heart as nothing will keep us apart. Oh, Mother Mary, I now see that presence mine is truly me. And in that oneness, I will be whole for all eternity. Mother Mary, I am aware that my separate cells will resist this because they can only be fed by fear-based energies, whether they come from the world or whether I produce them internally. Mother Mary, by your grace, in hierarchy, <coughs> find my place. Side to co-create, all matter does accelerate. O oh, Mother Mary, vision give. In new awareness, I will live. As one with Christ, I take my stand. All matter is at my command. Mother Mary, I'm aware that these subconscious cells want me to react to the world in such a way that I either take in fear-based energy or that I produce it myself. O Mother Mary, sacred flow, in life's own river all will grow. The upward path is clear to all who dare to follow in our call. O Mother Mary, a new age, freeze human beings from the cage. We see that spirit is in form, society we will reform. Mother Mary, I am willing to have you take me through a systematic process of becoming aware of my emotional patterns so I can see that my reactions are based on the illusions created through the veil of separation. Oh, Mother Mary, you are here, filling up the atmosphere. We now command the matter light to manifest our sacred sight. O oh, Mother Mary, I now see my place in cosmic hierarchy to co-create a better earth. The golden age is given birth. Mother Mary, I am aware that when I take command over my identity and mental bodies, these two bodies set the parameters for how I react to the world. Thus, my emotions will ideally fall within these parameters. O oh, Mother Mary, body-mind is truly, fully, wholly thine. My body elemental free as every illness healed by thee. O Mother Mary, you are real, and therefore every wound you heal. In Mother's garden, I feel free from all that used to burden me. Mother Mary, I am aware that when I take command over my identity and mental bodies, I can also take command over my emotional body, and thus I can keep it sealed off from any energies from this world. Mother Mary, feelings mine are truly, fully, wholly thine. My feeling uh, our trauma as it does now erase. Oh, Mother Mary, I let go of all that pulls me from below. Your healing flame is such a grace. All my mistakes it does erase. Mother Mary, I hereby take ownership of my identity, mental and emotional bodies by accepting that Christ is the head of the household. And as the conscious you, I am indeed the Christ in my being. O oh, Mother Mary, thinking mind is truly, fully, wholly thine. My mental body crystal clear as Mother's presence is now here. O oh, Mother Mary, so sublime, uplifting me beyond all time. Whatever was still in my past, I feel that it has truly passed. Mother Mary, I'm aware that since everything is made out of the Christ consciousness, my conscious you is already the Christ consciousness. For how else could I be aware of myself? O oh, Mother Mary, I am free. Be born to new identity. In pure awareness, I am whole. As I let go of worldly soul. O oh, Mother Mary, from beyond to earth, <coughs> more respond. Garden, I am free. As in our wonders, I will be. 
Mother Mary, I am aware that because I am already the Christ consciousness, I can let any subconscious self die. And when I do, I am reborn as a new being in Christ. Oh, Mother Mary, I feel free. As healing grace you do bestow. Oh, Mother Mary, I am with you. My mind is one, no longer two. Divisions have no hold in me. My aura is all filled with thee. Mother Mary, I want to be reborn as a new being who does not react to this world and us does not need to take in anything from this world. Instead, I am focused on giving to this world by being the open door for the flow of energy from the cosmic hierarchy. Mother Mary, sacred tone, from all past eras does atone. I hear the sound of Mother's spell that sets me free from death and hell. O Mother Mary, I will flow as I now have the will to grow. In limestone river, I transcend no more defend. Mother Mary, I am aware that emotions are energy in motion, meaning that my emotional body is always moving. Instead of seeking to stop or calm my emotions, I will redirect my emotions based on the Christ mind. O Mother Mary, in your grace, you set me free from every trace of fallen beings and their lives. You raise my gaze to lofty skies. O oh, Mother Mary, all is healed, as Mother's vision is revealed. With single eye I do now see that oneness is reality. Mother Mary, I am realigning my emotions with a Christ mind, so I can flow with a river of life, instead of being blown hither and yon by the currents in a collective consciousness. O oh, Mother Mary, show to me the selves that keep me far from thee, and I'll surrender to a lie and I am free from worldly tie. O Mother Mary, I now see the world is unreality, yet in my core I also feel the conscious me is truly real. Mother Mary, it does not matter to me at all that most people around me are trapped in fear-based emotional patterns. I have a right to keep my emotional body completely sealed off from the mass consciousness or from the emotions of specific people close to me. O Mother Mary, what a sound that emanates from holy ground. My heart in sync with Mother's heart, as nothing will keep us apart. O Mother Mary, I now see. Mine is truly me, and in that oneness I will be, whole for all eternity. Mother Mary, I hereby claim my right to feel what I want to feel and not what other people, the mass consciousness, or the fallen beings project that I should feel. O oh, Mother Mary, by your grace, in hierarchy I find my place. As I decide to co-create, all matter does accelerate. O oh, Mother Mary, vision give. In new awareness I will live. Take my stand. All matter is at my command. Mother Mary, I hereby declare my independence from the emotional projections of all trapped in duality and separation. O oh, Mother Mary, sacred flow, in life's own river all will grow. The upward path is clear to all who dare to follow in our call. O oh, Mother Mary, a new age, frees human beings from the cage. We see that spirit is in form, society we will reform. Mother Mary, I hereby declare my right to let the light of Christ flow through my emotions and to flood my emotional body so I never feel a need to take in any energies or projections from this world. Harry, you are here, filling up the atmosphere. We now command the matter light to manifest our sacred right. Oh, Mother Mary, I now see my place in cosmic hierarchy to co-create a better earth the golden age is given birth. Mother Mary, my emotional body is an open door for the ever-flowing, inexhaustible stream of spiritual energy that flows from the entire cosmic hierarchy into this world. O oh, Mother Mary, body-mind is truly, fully, holy thine. My body, elemental free, has every illness healed by thee. O oh, Mother Mary, you are healed, and therefore every healed. In Mother's garden, I feel free from all that used to burden me. Mother Mary, 
Thy emotional body is not sealed off from the world. It is simply so filled with the ever-flowing stream of cosmic energy that no lower energies can enter. O Mother Mary, feelings mine are truly fully wholly thine. Thy feeling body filled with grace, all trauma as it does now erase. O Mother Mary, I let go of all that pulls me from below. Your healing flame is such a grace, all my mistakes it does erase. Mother Mary, I am aware that there is a certain momentum among spiritual people wanting to calm the emotions and attain peace of mind, seeking to stop all emotions. I am letting the higher energies transform the lower energies. O oh, Mother Mary, thinking mind is truly fully wholly thine. My mental body crystal clear as Mother's presence is now here. O oh, Mother Mary, so sublime, uplifting me beyond all time. Whatever was still in my past, I feel that it has truly passed. Mother Mary, I am aware that higher energies can only flow into my emotional body when I am not seeking to use them for the purposes of the separate self that I am seeking to raise the whole. O oh, Mother Mary, I am free, reborn to new identity. In pure awareness, I am whole. As I let go, a world is O oh, Mother Mary, from beyond, to earth I need no more respond. In Mother's garden I am free, as in our wonders I will be. Mother Mary, I'm willing to have you take me through a systematic process of transforming my approach to life, whereby I shift from focusing on protecting myself from the world to giving to the world. O oh, Mother Mary, I feel free. Surrender is the master key. All selves I simply can let go. As healing grace you do bestow. O oh, Mother Mary, I'm with you. My mind is one, no longer two. Divisions have no hold in me. My aura is all filled with thee. Mother Mary, I am aware that the cosmic hierarchy has unlimited energy and ideas they want to give to the world. But they need those in embodiment who are willing to be the open doors through which this can be given. Mother Mary, sacred tone. For all past errors does atone. I hear the sound of Mother's spell that sets me free from death and hell. O Mother Mary, I will flow as I now have the will to go. In life's own river, I transcend as ego I no more defend. Mother Mary, I'm willing to be an open door for the cosmic hierarchy to give the gifts that you want to give through me. Thus, I am not seeking to suppress or even calm my emotion. I'm seeking to let the higher energies flow through my emotional body. O Mother Mary, in your grace, you set me free from every trace of fallen beings and their lives. You raise my gaze to lofty skies. O Mother Mary, all is healed, as Mother's vision is revealed. With single eye, I do now see that oneness is reality. Mother Mary, I'm willing to have you take me through a systematic process whereby I shift from being focused on protecting myself in order to avoid lower emotions to where I am focused on being creative and allowing creative emotions to flow through me. O oh, Mother Mary, show to me the selves that keep me far from thee. I now surrender to a lie, and I am free from worldly tie. O oh, Mother Mary, I now see the world is unreality, yet in my core I also feel the conscious me is truly real. Mother Mary, I am willing to have you help me experience creative emotions as opposed to the kind of emotions I have experienced thus far. O oh, Mother Mary, what a sound that emanates from holy ground. My heart in sync with Mother's heart as nothing will keep us apart. O oh, Mother Mary, I now see that presence mine is truly me and in that oneness I will be whole for all eternity. Mother Mary, I am willing to experience that the river of life flows through me and that the cosmic energies transform all lower energies stored in my identity, mental and emotional bodies. O oh, Mother Mary, by your grace, in hierarchy I find my place as I decide to co-create, all matter does accelerate. O oh, Mother Mary, vision give, in new awareness I will live. As one with Christ, I take my stand. All matter is at my command. 
Mother Mary, my emotional body is the open door for the flow of the creative energies of the cosmic hierarchy, transforming my life and transforming life on earth. O oh, Mother Mary, sacred flow, in life's own river all will grow. The upward path is clear to all who dare to follow in our call. O oh, Mother Mary, a new age, freeze human beings from the cage. We see that spirit is in form, society we will reform. Mother Mary, my emotional body is the fountain of youth, where everything becomes new in the bubbling, ceaseless, flowing energies of the Holy Spirit that can transform anything that is apart from the river of life, for it never accepts that any part of life could be apart from the river of life. O oh, Mother Mary, you are here, filling up the atmosphere. We now command the matter light to manifest our sacred sight. O oh, Mother Mary, I now see my place in cosmic hierarchy to co-create a better earth. The golden age is given birth. In the name of the Divine Mother, I call to Mother Mary and Archangel Raphael for the sealing of myself and all people in my circle of influence in the creative flow of the Divine Mother, the river of life. I call for the multiplication of my calls by all representatives of the Divine Mother so that we form the perfect figure eight flow of as above, so below. Thus I accept that this is fully manifest because the mouth of the Lord the Divine Mother that I am has spoken it. Amen. Oh. 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 I am the Elohim Cyclopeia. What does it mean that we are the Elohim? What is the difference between the Elohim, the Archangels, and Ascended Masters? Well, in a sense, you could say that we are all Ascended Masters because we exist in the Ascended Realm. We have mastered our own minds in order to become immortal permanent beings in the ascended realm. But still, what is the function of the Elohim? We are creative beings. We are, of course, co-creators, not only with God, but with each other. You do not co-create a planet like Earth through one spiritual ray, but through all seven and even the secret rays beyond. So even though we have given you this concept that they are separate rays, they are not really separate from our perspective. We are united when we create. And therefore, from your perspective, while it can be helpful to focus on the different rays, their different qualities, you need to recognize that all of the rays together form a flow. And your choice, your basic choice when you are in embodiment on a dense planet like Earth is whether to see yourself as connected to that flow so that the flow can, in some measure at least, flow through you, 
or whether you see yourself as disconnected from the flow. This is important, especially for the emotional body, because what is the function of the emotional body? Let us begin to answer this question by going to the identity body. We have explained to you that you have an I am presence in a lower spiritual realm that has a unique individuality. This individuality was designed, defined, created by the ascended masters who manifested your I am presence out of their own beings. So in reality, your real identity is defined in the I am presence. But because of the density of an unascended sphere, the I am presence does not descend into embodiment, it sends the conscious you. The conscious you does not in itself have any individuality. That is why we have taught you that the conscious you is pure awareness or neutral awareness. In other words, the conscious you is not like a container that contains a blueprint for your individuality. That is the function of your I am presence. But if the I am presence descended on a dark planet like Earth, potentially your divine individuality could be damaged, could be shattered. So therefore, it sends the conscious you, which means that the conscious you can be said to have no identity. This is both correct and incorrect in the sense that your conscious you has a sense, I am. There's just no continuation of that sentence. The conscious you in its pure form does not continue that statement and say, I am this, I am that. The conscious you says or experiences, I am. That is a form of identity. Clearly, you experience yourself as an individual being. But it is just, there is no, I am this, I am that, as you are used to on Earth. So we have explained to you that the conscious you starts at the 144th level. It takes on a certain illusion, creates a certain self in your identity body. This self is not a dualistic self. It is not a separate self. We might even say that what you take on at the 144th level is not really an illusion as you normally see the word illusion on Earth. It's not a lie. It is just that on a planet like Earth, but even on a natural planet, in order to create a planet, you have to create a certain blueprint. And that is, in a certain way, a limitation. You have to choose from the level of the Elohim what kind of planet you are going to design. And there are many, many ways to design a planet, but you have to choose. So you start by defining one parameter, you might say, instead of saying limitation. And that parameter then is what the conscious you takes on at the 144th level. It is not a lie as such, but if you focus on it and think it is absolutely real and the only way a planet could be defined, then it does become an illusion that can trap you. 
So the conscious you takes on the first parameter. It accepts that this is the parameter for this planet into which I'm going to descend in embodiment. This allows the conscious you to integrate with the identity body. But it is not just that the conscious you chooses this randomly. In other words, you are, have all descended to the 144th level, created a self there, taken on a certain illusion, you might say, but you don't all have the same illusion or parameter or self. What determines what you specifically took on? The individuality of your I am presence determined this. So you see, when the conscious you descends to the 144th level, it, it has no individuality in itself, but it is connected to the individuality of the I am presence. And it is based on this individuality that you create the first self that allows you to start integrating with the identity body. Now, you can say that perhaps you could, when you look at our teachings about these selves, perhaps you could get the impression that they are wrong or that you should avoid having selves or that you should overcome all selves or that they are always negative. This is true for the selves created out of the duality consciousness, the sense of separation. But the selves you take on as you descend to the 48th level are not dualistic separate selves. They are just selves that are necessary for you to actually fit the conscious you into a physical body so you can interact with the physical body. Now, one of you yesterday raised the, the issue that when you were doing this meditation, where Mother Mary took you out of the fall over bodies, and then you were asked to write down, he felt that he was so disconnected from the physical body that how could he write anything? And that actually illustrates the process whereby the conscious you comes into embodiment. Because when the conscious you is aware of itself as pure awareness, how could you do anything on earth? How could you operate a physical body? How could you hold a pen in your hand and move it on a piece of paper to write something? But how could you even conceive that there is something called writing whereby you can write words that have a meaning. How can you give meaning to words if you see yourself as pure awareness? What is the value of stepping outside of your follower bodies and experiencing yourself as pure awareness? It is that you do not long, any longer identify yourself with the four lower bodies and with the subconscious selves. This means you can look at them and let them go because you know you are more than this. But nevertheless, when you are in the state of pure awareness, you cannot integrate with the dense physical bodies on earth, but you cannot even integrate with the physical bodies on a natural planet. It is just that it is easier to integrate with it a body on a natural planet, but you still have to go through a process whereby the conscious you create these selves. And why is it you, that you have to create a self? Because when you are at the 144th level, you are looking at the parameter that defines that level. You are looking at this consciously. And you are making the decision to take this on. But the parameter you are taking on is necessary for you to continue the process of going down. But you cannot be conscious of the parameter you took on at the 144th level 
when you descend to the 143rd level, because then you need to be conscious of that parameter. So that is why you create a self to continually project your energy through the parameter that you defined at the 144th level. It is as if you might say that the conscious you is the white light that enters the movie projector. And at the 144th level, you are starting to draw an image on the film strip. And the light will then be projected through that image. But you cannot do this consciously when you go below the 144th level. So the self is like the film strip that has this particular image on it that is repeated and repeated at the subconscious level. And now you go to the 143rd. Here's another parameter defined by the Elohim for how the Earth is, de is designed as a planet. You look at that parameter that we defined. You connect to your individuality and your I am presence. And then you create an individual self at the 143rd level, which means you make another drawing on the film strip. And when the light shines through from your I am presence through the film strip, the self you create now projects that onto the movie screen. And you continue to do this onto the 48th level, whereby you first fill up your identity body with cells that project a certain image, then your mental body, then your emotional body, and then in the ideal situation, when it is a natural planet, you are actually co-creating your physical body instead of entering into a pre-created physical body. But because of the density of Earth, you are coming into a physical body that is created by your parents and that is deeply affected by your genetic inheritance. And so what I'm endeavoring to have you see here is that there are certain of these selves that are not actually limiting your spiritual growth. They are not limiting your spiritual growth. And you will not have to get rid of every self while you are still in embodiment. You will, as we say, have to see through the illusion at every level before you can ascend. And it is possible, while you are still in the body, to come to see through all of the parameters up until the 144th level. And you see that this is not who you are, that this does not limit you. You are not identified with it. But you still need those cells in order to integrate with the four lower bodies and to function in a physical body. So, for most people, they will not see through these initiation or these illusions at the higher levels until they go through the ascension process. That is why there is both a validity to the image of the ascension process that we gave in previous dispensations, where you go through this series of initiations at Seraphis Space Retreat at Luxor, because this is when you then very quickly overcome these last illusions at the higher levels, whatever you have not overcome until you are ready to go into the ascension temple. But it is also possible to overcome them while you are still in embodiment so that you're not identified with them. You just hold on to them so that you can function in a physical body. And then when you 
you hardly need to go through any process in the ascension temple, you can almost immediately ascend because you are already disidentified from these. And so what does all this have to do with the emotional body? Well, when you descend towards the 48th level, you are also creating certain cells in the emotional body. You start at the identity, then into the mental, then into the emotional. But all of these cells that you create as you are descending, are cells that have one purpose, to allow the energy, the light from your I am presence to flow through your higher bodies and be expressed at the physical level. They are co-creative selves because they are based on the awareness that everything in this unascended sphere is created from the energies from the spiritual realm that are flowing into the identity, mental, emotional, and physical levels. And you are here to be a co-creator in a physical body. And therefore, all of the cells you create to integrate with the four lower bodies are aimed at letting energy flow through you into the physical so you can co-create. And so you have cells in the emotional body that are not dualistic, that are not directly created in reaction to Earth. They are created in reaction to how we, the Elohim, define the parameters for Earth. So they are created to be creative selves. And it is entirely possible to have an emotional body that only has creative selves and none of the separate dualistic selves. And when you do have that, you will experience the light flowing through you and you will feel whole. But more than that, what will you feel? Well, you will actually feel the energies of the seven rays all flowing through your emotional body at the same time. But you cannot really at the emotional level differentiate. So you just feel a flow of energy. And the way you experience this at the emotional level is love. The word that we can use to describe this flow, that is what people can relate to, is love. So this means that when you have this, we can say, natural energy flow, you are experiencing love from above. You are constantly experiencing love. And it is saturating you. It is fulfilling you. And therefore, you do not even have the thought that you could need love from Earth or from another person. Because you are receiving all the love you need from your I Am Presence. The whole idea that you should meet a person and then you should feel love from that person is unnecessary for you. you. You don't even conceive of it because why would you need to look at the moon and get the light that is reflected by the moon when you could look at the sun directly, when you are feeling the sun's rays flowing through you? And so it is important for you to contemplate this because the only way to really heal the emotional body is to reestablish that natural energy flow. 
where you, where you feel this, we might call it unconditional love or the love that is beyond conditions. You see, what happens when you go below the 48th level of consciousness is that now you lose that flow. You no longer feel the flow of love from above. And you experience it as a loss. You experience you are not fulfilled. There is a hole. There is a lack. There is something you need. And you need love. And so what happens is that now you start thinking that you need love from this world. But what is it you experience? You experience that you are not getting love from this world because you can never get enough love from this world to replace the loss of the flow from the higher realms. The love from your I am presence is the only love that can fill you. No amount of love from this world, even from another human being, even if that other human being had the natural flow of love from his or her I am presence, it would still not fill you. What you also experience in this world, of course, is that the love that is given to you in this world is so often conditional. You need to live up to certain conditions. And why is this? Because everybody has the same lack of not having love flowing from above. So everybody is now trying to get something from each other. Instead of receiving everything they need personally from within, so they all have a surplus from which to give. Nobody has a surplus. So everybody is saying, I will give something to you if you give something to me. You are bargaining. It all becomes a bargain, a trade. And so this is important to realize. Because you can, in a certain sense, say that there are only two emotions, love and fear. Now, even from a human perspective, how humans normally conceive of love, what is love? Love is when you are giving when you are flowing. But even if you are receiving love, you're also experiencing there is a stream of love towards you. What is fear? Well, this is more tricky because fear can also be a flow. You can feel that you are radiating fear-based energy or you're receiving fear-based energy. But very often, fear becomes a stop of the flow, where because of fear, you are afraid to give out or you are afraid to take in. So you stop the flow. And this will create a disease in your emotional body. Because the emotional body is designed to be a conduit for the flow of energy. And when you stop the flow, a balance immediately occurs in the emotional body. And this means that fear-based energies start to accumulate. And even what many human beings call love is actually a fear-based energy. And so, as more and more energy accumulates in the physical body, it starts in the emotional body, it starts affecting the physical body. And this can create a physical disease. But what is it that stops the flow? It's not actually the emotional body. 
it's the mental body. As we explained yesterday, you have certain structures in the identity body that set parameters for the mental body. So you can only think within those paradigms. But at the same time, the mental body forms parameters for your emotional body. So you can only feel within the parameters defined at the mental level. And that is why when you have a certain feeling of fear, the mental body can step in and say, I don't want to have that feeling, so I'm going to suppress the feeling. I'm going to stop the feeling. And so the mental body can override the emotional so that at the conscious level, you are not aware. You are not aware consciously at the mental level of the feeling. But the feeling is still there. Perhaps it is produced internally in your emotional body. Perhaps it is coming to you from the outside, being projected at you from the mass consciousness, dark forces, other people. But the feeling is still there. But you are suppressing it at the mental level so you are not aware of it. And that means the energies must then accumulate in your emotional body. And when they, when they reach a certain level of intensity, and when they are still not acknowledged by the mental body, they spill over to the physical body and now begin to affect the physical cells. And sooner or later, you have the manifestation of a physical disease. And so, we now need to step back and look at, you are a co-creator. You come into embodiment on Earth. The conscious you descends to these many levels, to the 48th level. You are integrated with this physical body. You are here to co-create. Now, in an ideal situation, you are formulating an image in your mental body, a more concrete, image in the mental, and then you are superimposing that image on your emotional body, and then you are simply allowing that energy to flow through the emotional onto the physical body, onto the matter light, and you are then manifesting, you are either doing something with the physical body, or you are actually manifesting certain conditions, physical conditions. And then, in the ideal situation, when you have directed energy out through your follower bodies, through the emotional and physical body, you wait for the return from the cosmic mirror, from the matter light. What is going to be manifest? And you, of course, you experience that return first on the physical body, then on the emotional, and then up to the mental. But you're really not evaluating the return at the physical or mental level or emotional level. You're evaluating it at the mental level. And you are evaluating this was my vision, this is what manifested. What's the difference? Did I not manifest what I envisioned? Or you are evaluating, how do I experience what came back to me? Do I want more of this? Or do I want to refine my vision and manifest something higher? This is a completely neutral evaluation. And so what I'm saying here is that in this situation, your emotional body is just a conduit, energy flows through from above, a certain response comes back, but your emotional body is not taking in energies from the physical level or even from the collective emotional level. You are seeing the physical results, you are passing it on to the mental, but there's really no evaluation at the emotional level. 
And you are not taking energy back from the physical or lower emotional because you are still experiencing that flow from above that fills you with love. So why do you need any energies from this world? So you can then neutrally evaluate your co-creative efforts. There's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. There's no dualistic value judgment. There is no thought that you could be wrong as a co-creator. So, in this case, nothing accumulates in the emotional body. Love doesn't even accumulate in the emotional body because it's directed outwards. But there's nothing coming back, there's nothing generated in the emotional body. There's no accumulation. It's just a pure flow through that conduit of the emotional body. And this is the natural flow. This is how we, the Elohim, co-create. We, we formulate the images, project them on the matter light, evaluate what comes back. Could we do something different? Could we do more? Could we refine our creation, co-creation? And you are meant to do the same in the ideal situation, which is what happens on a natural planet. Of course, the situation on Earth is very different, as you all know. But why is it different? How is it different? Well, as we have said before, the fallen beings had to do only one thing to distort things on Earth. They had to project there is a standard that your co-creative efforts have to live up to. And then project that this standard defines what is right, what is wrong. So all of a sudden, what you experience on a planet like Earth, as compared to a natural planet, is that now you are not just evaluating your co-creative efforts from within. You are now exposed to this very aggressive projection from without that your co-creative efforts are wrong. And this means you are wrong. And this is what happens to avatars when you come from a natural planet where you have never been wrong to the earth and suddenly you are exposed to this accusation from the fallen beings. You are wrong for even being here. Anything you do here is wrong. As the messenger expressed yesterday, I can only be wrong. And so, and many of you can recognize this in yourselves. So, when this happens, and this only happens really when you go below the 48th level, or maybe you go below the 48th level in reaction to this accusation, then suddenly there is a different reaction in your emotional body. Remember, evaluation of your co-creative efforts ideally happens at the mental level and the identity level, or even by the conscious you stepping outside of those bodies connecting to the I am presence. But now, you are suddenly experiencing that in your emotional body, instead of just love flowing through you, first of all, you sense the lack of love from above, but then you also sense the fear that you could be wrong. Suddenly, you could be wrong. And there is now this evaluation process at the emotional level. Am I wrong? Could I be wrong? And what bad things could happen if I'm wrong? And this is often because you were exposed to some very negative events that happened at the physical level, where you perhaps were killed, tortured, where you suffered greatly at the physical level because the fallen beings exposed you to this physical pain that you now naturally would never feel. So, 
Now you have an evaluation in the emotional body, but there was never meant to be an evaluation at the emotional level. Your emotional body is not designed to create this evaluation. There is, in fact, no selves that you created as you descended to the 48th level that were created to evaluate. So what happens? What happens is that there are now separate selves created in the emotional body. And they are based on this evaluation that you could be wrong, and if you are wrong, it's bad, and you should fear it, and you should fear the consequences. Now, why is this all important when we are talking about healing? Because when a subconscious self is created at the emotional level, it cannot be resolved at the emotional level. There is no mechanism in the emotional body for stepping back, looking at your feelings, and saying, oh, I don't want to have that feeling. I'm just letting it go. I'm just ignoring it. You can't do that at the emotional level. So now, how can you then overcome a self, a subconscious self, a separate self at the emotional level? Well, only by reconnecting up theoretically, you could overcome an emotional self through the mental body, which should be in command of your emotional body, defining what goes through the emotional body. It should also be in command of defining what is coming back or what is coming into the emotional body so that it actually doesn't allow anything to come into the emotional body. But what happens when you come to Earth and are exposed to this accusatory energy is that it doesn't only affect your physical body, your emotional body. It affects the emotional body first, but it also affects the mental. And now you create, at the same time, subconscious cells at the mental level that accept this standard that on Earth, apparently, it is necessary to evaluate your co-created efforts based on this standard of right and wrong because otherwise you can't even survive here. You can't function here, and you can't do what you came here to do, help people overcome suffering, if you don't conform to their standard, because otherwise they'll ignore or reject you. So you create cells at the mental level, and you even at the identity level create cells of how you're supposed to be on Earth, that you can't just be a co-creative being on Earth you need even at the identity level to evaluate. And so now you have these selves at the emotional body and the self at the emotional body is constantly projecting into your mind fear, fear-based energy, fear-based feelings. And it's very unpleasant. And your mental body should be able to override it, but it can't because it has also accepted this standard. So the mental body can't just say, this feeling is completely unnecessary, a complete illusion, and I'm going to dissolve that self and just let it die. Because the mental body is wondering, but what if it's true? What if it's true here on Earth that in order to function here, I have to accept this? And so now, even if this happens, the identity body should be able to override the mental and say, no, no, this is not correct. This is not in accordance with who I really am. But even at the identity level, you have this doubt. As an avatar, you often feel, but I came here to help people escape suffering. So how can I help them if they just reject me? So maybe I need to conform to their standard so they will accept me and then I can give them something that can gradually help them. And that means now your identity body cannot really override the mental, which cannot override the emotional, 
and therefore the emotional energies accumulate and they spill over to the physical, affect the physical cells, and you have a physical disease. So what is the way out of it? Well, the way out of it is that you, the conscious you realizes, I am not the physical body, I'm not defined by the physical body, I am not my emotions, I'm not defined by my emotions, I am not my thoughts, I am not defined by my thoughts, I am not even my sense of identity that I have taken on on this planet. I'm not defined by it. Therefore, I can step outside of this. I can look at these cells. I can see the illusion. I can see how they are affecting me. And I can decide to let the cells die. You can only do this when you step outside of these bodies, because when the conscious you is inside the bodies, what do these selves do from the identity to the mental, to the emotional? They are defining there's a problem you have to solve here on earth. And the problem has no solution at the emotional, mental, and identity levels. The only solution is that the Conscious you steps outside, sees that it's a self, sees that it's unreal, and realizes, I don't have to solve the problem that the self projects, I can do it, let the self die. And then I am not seeing the world through that filter, and then the problem is no longer there. It's not a matter of solving, it's a matter of transcending the problem, so the problem isn't there in your four lower bodies. And that can only happen when the cells die. So therefore, the conscious you can come to look from the level of pure awareness down through your identity, mental, into the emotional body, and you can see this self that is sitting there constantly projecting this fear-based energy. It's not a sophisticated self at the emotional level. It is more like you would see a, a small child that is throwing a temper tantrum. And it's throwing itself on the floor, and it's kicking and screaming and constantly yelling. And there's no reasoning with it. You cannot reason with a child. That is how the cells are in the emotional body. You know, they are constantly projecting fear, fear, fear. This is bad. This is terrible. Imagine what would happen if there's a war, or if I'm tortured, or if I'm raped, or this or that. And it's just raw emotional energy. And at the emotional level, there is no reasoning to the energy. It's just energy that's moving and it's chaotic. It's like, you're in a hurricane where the air is swirling around so fast that all you can do is hold on to something so you're not swept away with it. And so when a conscious you steps outside of the four lower bodies, it's like going into the eye of a hurricane where there's calm. The hurricane is still swirling around you. It may be swirling still in your emotional body, but now you can look calmly at it, and then you can realize that you actually have the power to stop the energy. But in order to do it, you need to look at the cells in the identity level, how they are connected to the mental, and then into the emotional, and then you have to decide to let them go, let the illusion go. And then you can stop the energy. Now, you may, before you have do this, have to seal yourself off from these projections, from the dark forces and the collective mind. And this is what, of course, you can do without decrease and in invocation. But you also need to make a certain decision where you see that the self you have in your emotional body is an open door for what's coming from the outside. And you need to decide 
enough of this. Enough of this. Now, I am well aware that I'm giving you a theoretical, somewhat abstract teaching here. But we will, of course, give you an exercise for connecting to the emotional body. But this is not my role as the Elohim. My role is to prepare you for the exercise by giving you a teaching of how the energy is meant to flow through your four lower bodies. You see what the fallen beings have done to all avatars who came to Earth, and of course to the original Earth inhabitants, is that they have disrupted the natural energy flow from above, and they have opened people's emotional bodies to an inflow of energy from this world. And this inflow is not necessarily all what people would experience as negative. You can experience that you are getting love from another person. And it can feel positive. It just will never be the same as it will never fill you as the flow from your I am presence. But it can still be a positive experience. You can, of course, have positive feelings. You see many times when people go to some kind of, let's say it is a classical concert or a waltz concert where they feel they are all together and the music creates this positive feeling in the audience and they feel uplifted. This is them receiving energy horizontally in most cases. Some may also be able to connect and receive something from their I am presences, but many people feel the energy coming from the outside and it's a positive feeling. But still, seeking energy, emotional energy from this world is not what you're designed to do as a co-creator. You're designed to let energy flow through you into the world. So you raise up the world. And so, for many people, their entire lives revolve around seeking to find ways to receive positive energy from the world. But of course, most people also experience that they receive unpleasant, negative, fear-based energy from the world. So it is an inevitable pairing duality that when people are seeking to receive positive energy from the world, they are also at the same time seeking to avoid receiving negative energy from the world. This is an essential duality you cannot escape until you reconnect to your I am presence and receive all the energy you need from the presence. And so, Again, why is this important for healing? Well, first of all, what happens to people who are in this push and pull dynamic? They, they seek to get positive energy. They seek to avoid negative energy. What is happening? Well, they are opening their emotional bodies to an inflow of energy from the world. How else could they receive positive energy? But if you're opening your emotional body to that inflow, you will also be vulnerable to projections of negative energy. And there's no way to seal your emotional body from this. You, you're either open or you're closed. So what do people then do? Many people in the world, they are focusing on positive energy, trying to receive positive energy from the world. They are receiving negative energy, but they are suppressing it. And this is, in a sense, a step up 
from being completely the victims of negative energy. Of course, you see people who are never receiving positive energy from the world, but only negative. But many people are at the point where they can suppress the negative energy and focus on the positive. The problem is that when you suppress the negative, it accumulates in the emotional body. And even though you don't realize that it is there at the conscious mental level, it accumulates and it will affect the physical body. And suddenly these people are saying, but I have tried to be positive all of my life. Why am I suddenly getting this disease? And they feel like, what can they do about it? There's nothing they can really do. And there isn't at that level, only again by stepping up, reconnecting, stepping outside the cells, coming to see the entire structure that is actually manifesting the disease. And part of this is, of course, the entire materialistic paradigm, which has now been superimposed on many people at the identity level, that you are living in a physical, material world, you have a physical body, and therefore, when a physical disease happens, it has a physical cause. So it's not really your accumulated negative emotions that are causing the disease. It's not the mental beliefs you have. It's not your sense of identity as a separate being. This has nothing to do with your physical disease. And if you believe this, you are, of course, completely at the mercy of whether the medical profession can come up with some physical means of either relieving the symptoms or removing them entirely. They cannot actually cure the disease. But in some cases, they can suppress the symptoms for a time. Perhaps they can suppress symptoms for the rest of a person's lifetime. But when the person comes into its next embodiment, it will have the same disease and it will manifest earlier in life. That is why you have some children that are born with a certain disease, because it carried over from their past lifetime. So, again, you are spiritual people. What can you do to heal your emotional body? You can do what I have said. You step outside the emotional body. You step outside the mental. You step outside the identity. You look at this structure because nothing happens in your emotional body entirely by itself. It is within the parameters designed by the defined in the mental, which is within the parameters defined at the identity. And so when you begin to question this, you can begin to question your entire approach to the physical realm and the physical body on earth. And you can begin to question why you allowed yourself to take on this belief that your co-creative efforts should fit with this standard of right and wrong. Why did you come to believe that you have to evaluate yourself based on the standard of right and wrong? Because if you have no such standard, you will not have negative emotions. If you don't have a standard that says you could be wrong, why would you have fear in your emotional body? Even if it is projected from the outside, it would just pass through. If you didn't have some structure that it could activate. So you can begin to look at this, and this is essentially all of the teachings we have given, not only through this messenger, but through previous organizations, have in a sense been leading up to this point where you can begin to look at Earth. You can realize the fallen beings have distorted everything on Earth by projecting this standard. Most human beings have accepted it. 
you also came to accept it. But you can come to unaccept it. And everything we, has, we have given you has this aim, because on an unnatural planet, the central issue for spiritual growth, for your ascension, for peace of mind, is to come to unaccept the standard of right and wrong. There is nothing good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And only when you realize that you can take command over your thinking can you escape the standard. The emotional body cannot do this. The mental body could do it if it hadn't accepted the standard. But the standard was built into the parameters that the identity body superimposed upon the mental. So you really have to go through the identity and realize you are not a flawed being who can only make mistakes and do something wrong or who can never do anything worthwhile on earth. You are a perfectly perfect being, although perfection also ties into a standard. You are a being that is beyond any dualistic standard, any pairs, any opposites. Your I am presence. The individuality is beautiful, unique. There could not possibly be anything wrong with it. Now, you, the individuality of your I am presence is not static because as the conscious you is an embodiment, the, the I am presence is constantly growing, expanding its individuality. But nevertheless, there could not possibly be anything wrong with it. How could there be when it was designed by ascended beings who are beyond the entire duality consciousness? It's only the duality consciousness that make it seem like there's something wrong. But what have we given you? So many teachings on the duality consciousness. What is the essence of duality? There are two polarities, but they are not an absolute truth because they are defined in relation to each other. When you define evil, you define good. For evil cannot exist without an opposite. But what have you now done? You have defined a standard for good that also cannot exist without an opposite. And that is not real good. So, when you look at yourself, look at your reaction, you can see how deeply ingrained it is in you, or rather in these selves, that everything has to be right and wrong. And you can see, some of you, if you are willing to look at this, that as I am saying to you that you need to overcome this standard of right and wrong, there is a self that says, oh, so it must have been wrong of me to take on this standard. Isn't that what Cyclopeia is saying? I shouldn't have taken on this standard. That is a separate self created out of duality. It is not the conscious you. If you think this way, the conscious you is seeing through the filter of the self, but you can step outside of the self. And you can say, hey, I took on this standard here on Earth, on this dark planet. I took it on. I have experienced it for a while. I've had enough of that experience. So now I'm taking it off. And when you think this way, you will notice now there'll be some other cells that will scream at you. You can't just take it off. 
What was the most insidious idea that the Catholic Church forced upon the world? The idea of original sin, that you were created as a sinner and you could never overcome it by your own power. This is the projection of the fallen beings. Once you have made a choice, you can never be free of that choice and the consequences. This is the essential lie projected by the fallen beings. Everything we have ever given is again leading up to you coming to see this, accepting that it is a lie, and just letting it drop. Free will is free will. You cannot have free will if you can make a choice that you cannot undo by making a more aware choice. But you see, if you did not have free will, how could you have gone into duality in the first place? So by the very fact that you can now see, and I realize most people cannot see this, but you as spiritual people can see it, you chose to take on the standard. And by the mere fact that you chose to take it on, you can choose to take it off. You can, cho you can choose just to let it drop from you. Let the scales, the scale of up and down, right and wrong, fall from your eyes and see with the pure vision that is not divided, that is not dualistic, it is based on the Christ mind. Where the Christ mind sees, this is all unreality. None of it is real. Nothing coming out of duality is real. But this also means that sometimes you have to look at yourself and say, but have I built a certain identity that I should be a certain way on earth, that I should be seen a certain way by other people, that I, for example, should be a good person? You cannot be free if you want to be a good person because that means that you are good in, rel in relation or to something bad. So, you are neither good nor bad. Nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And when you realize this, you change your thinking by letting the self that thinks dualistically drop away. I'm not saying you can do this in a blink of an eye, but with the teachings and tools we have given you, you can gradually come to the point where suddenly it falls away. You're not trying to be good. You're not trying to avoid making a mistake. You're just being yourself. And when you express something, you're not looking at how other people react to it. You're just looking at how do you react? How do you feel about it? And if you express yourself and you feel some kind of not positive reaction, you realize it comes from a self that you haven't yet let die. So you look at it, you let it die. You will be more free to express yourself. You do it again. If you still see there's something, some reaction in your higher bodies, you look at it until you're free. You can just express. And you're not evaluating, was it good or bad, right or wrong, should I have it done better, should I have not said this, should I have it done that. None of this is there. You're just flowing because once again, at any moment, you are who you are. 
and you have a right to be an embodiment on earth and express who you are at this moment. Say you are at the 97th level of consciousness. You have a right to be at the 97th level. Of course, your expression will not be the same as it would be if you were at a higher level. But you have a right to be at that level and express yourself at that level. And then when you experience your expression, you can refine it, you can look at the cells you have, and you can rise to the next level. Now, I know very well that this has already been a long discourse. But I wish to bring up one more issue. What does it mean to be a co-creator on Earth? Of course, when you look at humankind, there is no concept of being a co-creator. A human being is not defined as a co-creator, but as a separate being. Even religious people define it this way. But what it really means is you are, as Raphael said, a sunbeam. The sun is your I am presence and the entire hierarchy leading up to the creator. Your four lower bodies are simply the conduits that give the sunbeam an open door to shine into the darkness. It is, there is, your four lower bodies are a window in the wall around the physical octave. And you are allowing the light to shine through. And what it does is, it may not illumine everything that is in the darkness, but even a very small beam of light will illuminate the darkness that everything is not darkness. And on an unnatural planet, people have been in darkness for so long that they have forgotten there is an alternative to the darkness. What did the Catholic doctrine of original sin do? It put people in a very closed, dark box. You are not connected to something higher. You cannot be an open door for the light. Only Jesus could do this. But you are born in sin. Therefore, you cannot bring any light into this world. What does the materialist paradigm do? You are an entirely material being. There is nothing outside the dark box. There is no, both of them are saying, there's no alternative to the darkness, at least not that you can experience. So if everybody has lived their entire lives in a total darkness, they have never experienced that they are not, as an alternative. So they do not have a choice. And what you are First of all, here to do on this unnatural planet is to allow your four lower bodies to be the open door so that a ray of light can shine through. Now, the earth is no longer in total darkness because the Buddha, Jesus, and many others have been open doors. But you see also what has been done to them they have been given the status that they were the only ones who could do it. They were the exceptions. So what is your role in this age, at this stage of manifesting the golden age? It is to demonstrate 
that many people can do what Jesus and the Buddha did. Allow the light to shine through your four lower bodies. This, of course, is not the original meaning of being a co-creator. But at the current situation on Earth, this is the practical meaning. It doesn't mean you can't co-create something. It doesn't mean you can't do something. But the basic meaning of being a co-creator right now on Earth is to just let light shine through your four lower bodies. Is there any need to evaluate this based on a standard of right and wrong? Is there any need to think about whether you could fail or whether you could be successful? Surely you can set up a standard and say, well, some people are allowing more light to shine through than I am, so there must be something wrong with me. But this is, again, a dualistic standard that you need to let go of. Do you realize that scientists have proven that all matter is made of these tiny invisible particles called photons? This is a very tiny particle of light extremely small, but if you put a human being in a dark room that is completely dark and you send one photon into that room, the human eye can detect that photon. And by detecting one tiny photon of light, you can, the person will see it as an alternative to total darkness. So what I'm saying is, no matter how much or how little light you're allowing to shine through you, any amount of light will show people an alternative to the darkness. And that is success for you. That is you fulfilling your role as a co-creator and fulfilling a basic part of your divine plan. But how can you let light shine through you? You must let it flow from your I am presence into your identity body. There must not be anything that blocks the light or that colors it. Then flow into the mental where again it must not be blocked or colored. Then into the emotional where again it must not be blocked and colored. So you have to look at your emotional body and your mental and identity and see some structure in there that blocks the light. And if you can overcome that structure and the light can flow through, then that is success. And then you can build on that. So I am encouraging you here to make this shift and realize that by just allowing the light to shine through, you are successful. You have done something significant. And if you allow it one time, you can build on that. So you can shift from standing there, not being afraid to let the light shine because you're afraid it's going to be rejected or you're going to be accused. You can make a shift instead of allowing it to shine, and then being encouraged by having allowed it once, so you can allow it again, and you can allow more, and you are suddenly in a positive spiral. Instead of standing there, being in limbo, not daring to move. We only desire to see you be more. Not right or wrong. There's no right or wrong in more. There's just a transcendence of your current state. We do not have a standard. We're not imposing a standard. 
even though many students in previous Ascended Master dispensations have thought that the teachings impose a standard for how to be a good Chila. We didn't impose the standard, the students themselves did. Even the messengers in those dispensations did. You have a messenger who has overcome his own standard and therefore doesn't impose it on you. Can you not feel safe? Could you not come to a point where you feel you are safe in expressing, letting the light shine through, even when you go out into the world? But even just in this gathering, could you not feel safe that you are not being judged by us? This is what I, as the Elohim of the fifth way, and all of us at the Elohimic level, truly desire to see for you. That you feel loved. You experience love from above. And you experience that we have only love for you, each and every one of you. I represent the fifth way, which is normally considered truth. But it is also love. There is love on each ray. For what is love in a sense? Well, another way to describe it is to say that it is the Christ consciousness. Yes, there is a ray of love, the third ray, that has specific qualities of love. But behind all of the rays is the Christ consciousness or the Buddha nature or the one mind or whatever you call it. And it is that feeling which at the human level is experienced as love. Could you not accept and experience our love for you? And would that not allow you to look at your emotional body and feel safe and see that whatever you might discover there it has no reality. It's just something you need to see because if you don't see it, you can't let it go. And then it will still be there and it will still affect you. So, I hope you have sensed my presence and that it is free of all judgments. I am beyond the conditions that have been defined from duality. You can be beyond those conditions too. And this is my desire for you. And so I have given of my being, my presence, in the hope that it will help you shift. And so with this, I seal you in the love of the fifth way, of the love that gives you a higher vision. Be sealed then in the presence of Cyclopeia 